everyone welcome to d4 triple channel today we are going to see about how to create custom configuration form by using your custom module okay before dive into video if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel so that you can get daily update from my youtube channel okay so for that i already created a, a custom module here so this custom module contains only one info file so info file contain only basic details so the module is not enabled installed next what you have to do you have to create a routing file to create a configuration form so it's custom underscore config underscore form dot routing dot yml file so in this file you have to mention a name for your config dot custom and path it's custom path slash admin slash config slash example form example form and next you have to define a default values defaults and first form so form you have to mention a namespace it's drupal slash custom underscore config underscore form slash capital form slash the form name so custom config form and next title so it's uh, custom configuration form and next you have to mention the requirements requirements so permission administer site configuration mini start site configuration so now we successfully created a routing file next you have to create this file so src form dot php file so here you have to mention namespace drupal slash custom con config underscore form slash form and we are going to use the config form base from the code so you have to mention that in the namespace so it's drupal slash core slash form slash config form base next you have to mention a uh, form state interface so whenever you have a form in drupal you you will be having an argument called form state interface so we are going to get the value of uh, form in the submit form or validate form by using this form state variable this interface so next class, it's a uh, class name should be the file name extends config form base. So now we successfully created a class file, let it be there. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a folder called config. And under config, I'm going to create a normal folder called install. So in the install file, I'm going to create a one YML file that is custom underscore config underscore form dot settings dot YML file. So in this YML file, I'm going to define two value. It's a first name one, Saranya. And next is last name. It's Pur Shotaman. 
So we successfully created a configuration file with the two values. One is first name and last name. So we are going to get the uh, value from uh, the configuration form and we are going to save it in this file. So let's go there and uh, create new variable. So if you want to create new variable, you can create or you can use uh, uh, without variable. So it's a settings variable. I'm going to mention that as constant. So it's config name. So config name is file name of this. Copy it and paste it here. So next you have to mention a get form ID that is inherited function doc. So it's public function, public function get form ID. So return. The ID, whatever you want, you can give settings. And next, I'm going to define one more inherited function. Inherit doc, inherit doc, okay. So this is a protected function. So protected function, that is a get editable config names so here you have to mention the yml file which you which you are going to update so that is a written <clears throat> i have created a variable for it so i'm going to use a static keyword so static will get the value from the current class object so static config name mm. So successfully completed this. Next, you have to create a form. It's public function. Build form. So array dollar form comma form state interface copy it from there dollar form underscore state so i'm going to define a value so it's a first name first one and um, type is um, text field Text field, title, so title is first name, first name, and next you have to mention a default value for it. So for default value, what you have to do, you have to get the value from the YML file. <coughs> so let's do that. So dollar config equal to dollar distance to to config of this yml file name so you can give the uh, name straightly here without using this constant variable also so next i am going to fetch the value from the config from that i am going to get the value of this first name so let's copy paste the same for last name it's last name last so once this is done i'm going to return the form so i'm going to return the form with the parent 
So why we are returning the form with the parent means we have created only the uh, first name, last name here, right? So we didn't create a, a submit function or not, right here, submit form. So when you use parent call function, it will get the remaining attributes from the parent class, okay? So next is submit handler. So we are going to save the configuration value to the YML file. Public function submit form. So the same argument which you are using here. So this form will have an ambassador in it. And that's it. We successfully created a submit function. And in that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to update the value. So let's copy the same YML file value. So I'm saying the value will be saved in the YML, 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 right? So actually it will not save in the YML. It will be saved in your DB table name called config. So uh, why we are saying it's a YML file means when you want to move your configuration from one environment to another environment, only that time the YML, the YML value will be updated based on the DB data, okay? So here I'm going to give dollar config set first name. So first name is dollar form states tends to get off uh, first name. So gonna do the same for last name too. So finally, we have to save the configuration. Dollar config stands to save. Okay. Mm. You can do the same in single line. Like uh, or. You no need to mention this. Sorry. this one and uh, you have to remove the semicolons okay so if you run this way this way also it will work okay so so now we successfully created all the files so let's go to the website oh okay so here it should be get value not get along Okay, so go to your website and go to your extend page. Install that module, it's custom, config form, click and install. It's throwing error. So let's say what error it is. Syntax error. Syntax error from this file. Okay, this is the error. So it should be equal to. So now let's refresh. So now we successfully installed that module. Go to your configuration development synchronization export. So single item. Here, um, custom config form. So here you can see it's a first name Saranya, last name Purushottaman as we mentioned in your YML file. Okay, so uh, next you have to go to the routing.yml file and copy the path, what you have here, and paste it there. So you can see it, you, it took you can see it took you to the configuration form. So default values are pre-populated. So I'm going to update uh, last name as Ashok Kumar and save the configuration. So now we successfully saved it and the value also updated. Let's go to the YML file and check. So 
So you can see Saranya Ashok Kumar is updated. And one more thing, whenever you create a YML file under a, a config install folder, this YML file will be imported to your website whenever you install this module, okay? So whenever we install this module, but we didn't update the configuration, but uh, before updating the configuration, we uh, we had this file in our website, okay? So this is to import your configuration uh, when you install it, okay? And since you are using admin slash config slash in your URL path, it took admin theme by default, okay, for the configuration form. When you define your uh, path like uh, A, B, C, D, something, E, X, Y, something like that, so it will not take the admin theme by default. So for that, what you have to do, you have to mention options underscore admin underscore root colon true okay if you mention like this it will take a uh, current theme uh, the form theme as a admin theme okay that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye